Yeah, I'm here for another rant video live on the spot. Uh, my girlfriend and I are gonna spend a nice night here on the town. Uh, it's a nice little area. There's a lot of eateries around here. We're gonna go out to eat and then we're gonna see a movie. But we notice when we get into the parking space that instead of an old fashioned parking meter, they got this stupidity over here. This nonsense about pay with the app, passport parking, okay? What the hell does that mean? And we're over here right now trying to figure this out. And my girlfriend's getting crazy and she doesn't want me near her because I'm going crazy. We're both going crazy. The world is over, folks. So anyway, so anyway, we find this damn thing over here. And you should see us. We trying to get it. She's over there complaining and yelling. She's doing a rant about me. Anyway, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. We couldn't figure this thing out. The glare was on it. We couldn't even read it. You know, pay this, pay that. How much time do you want? Pay this. Finally, they give you a freaking receipt. We got about an hour. It's not enough time. And uh, what started out to be a really good night is, you know, my girlfriend just said, she goes, I, I don't know how to figure this out. We got an hour's time to eat but we, she wanted a little more time than an hour, but we couldn't figure it out, and neither can you. You know, this is absolutely insane. Put a damn parking meter, get a quarter out and put it in. If you want more hours, put two quarters in. End the story, simple. Brave new world, huh? Things are so much easier now, my ass. Okay, this video is being recorded the following day after what you just saw. I just want to add a little bit to it because I have to explain something. The idea was that my girlfriend and I were going out for a nice evening. It turned out to be a very nice evening other than the parking fiasco. I mean, we were going to go have some dinner. We wanted to spend about an hour and a half at the restaurant, something like that, allow ourselves enough time before the movie. And then after that, we were going to move our car and go down to the theater, which is, is only several blocks away. But when we went to park the car for the restaurant, as you saw... We noticed there are no parking meters anymore. They have those stupid posts that just have numbers on them. And it says, if you want to park, use this app. And they had a little kind of box photo on there. And we guess you got to scan that. So we, we didn't know what we were supposed to do. We were both dumbfounded. And we're standing there for minutes and minutes and minutes trying to figure out how to do this. My girlfriend's looking at her phone. She's trying to download the app because she's better at these things than I am. And she, she was getting really annoyed too. And I don't blame her. And she couldn't figure it out. And she's like, well, I, I think I got the download. But now how do you, how do you pay? And, and she's trying to do all of this. Finally, a young man comes out in a suit out of the bank, and he looks like he's about, oh, I'd say 30, 35 years old, young guy, and he says to me, are you having a little trouble there? I said, yeah, yeah, his car was parked right in front of ours, so I said, could you could you possibly help us to ha tell us how to park, how to use this thing, and he said, sure, all you got to do is download the app, and you do this, and you can put it on your phone, and then you pay on your phone, and it's really good, he tells us, you know, when you go to the restaurant to eat, you you know, your phone, you can leave your phone on the table, and it'll like buzz and notify you like how much time is remaining and whether you run out of time and if you're going to go back out to the i'm like listen i'm saying listen the last thing i want when i'm eating dinner is to have my phone bothering me about my parking status you know i mean is there no end these days so anyway but the guy also tells us as you saw in the video if you go down to the middle of the block there he says there's a, a machine there a big machine that you can pay through the machine so he said thank you very much sir we appreciate it he saved us you know otherwise we've been standing there still so we went down to the machine but when we got there my girlfriend takes out her card and she's putting it into the machine and quite frankly neither one of us likes doing that in public machines like that in the middle of nowhere because a lot of hooligans can go out there and they could put skimmers in the machine, which read your card and get your private information. And I don't know about you. I'm sure it's happened to you. I've been compromised like that with things before, and so is my girlfriend. But we were desperate, so she was willing to do it. She's more brave about taking a loss than I am. I think it's more naive, but, you know, she's more game than I am. So she goes in there, and she tries it, and she's willing. And then you couldn't really see it good on the machine, uh, machine in the the video that I showed you before but there's a little tiny screen that tells you what your status is how how much you've paid how much time you've got how much more you need uh, but because of the sun glaring right on there neither I nor my girlfriend could read it she, you know she's standing there I can't see this I can't we're trying to get the glare I'm like me either she was so so flustered she dropped her phone 
which luckily didn't break, thank God, you know, on this concrete, you know. And meanwhile, the clock is going tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock to get to the restaurant so we can finish our food and uh, and time for the movie and all this stuff, We, you know. And uh, she wanted to put an hour and a half on the time, but wasn't able to do it because she couldn't read that screen. It says, it looks like an hour's on there, but how do you put, we didn't even know how to put another 30 minutes. Do you put 130 and 30? Do you put like, you know, 90 minutes? Do you put military time? I mean, what do you put in this damn thing? We didn't know what to do. So eventually we settled for an hour. We had pressed, it's like press a green button, then press a yellow button. Well, it took us forever to figure out how to press the green button, the yellow button, all this just to park. And finally, when we got the hour, which is all we could figure out, it spit out a receipt. You got to carry this receipt. This is your receipt for, you know, your, you know, you, you, we get we get these sometimes at various places where you park, but it's usually a rarity. But not to go out to a dinner on a regular street like this. But anyhow, so we, then we go to the restaurant, and that's a story in itself. The food was very good at the restaurant, but first of all, it took them forever to take our order. There were only four people there, including us. One of the couple and us, two couples. And it took them forever to take our order. Food was good. But when it was done at the end, they they spur they just like spur it on on the on this like they just hit us with the fact that the machine's not working to take a credit card. Now I don't mind paying cash, but I have, I'm ten dollars short. I have cash on me, but we're ten dollars short of the bill amount. So we find out the waitress tells us, well, if you want, you can write it down here. You put your number. We'll take your number on a piece of paper. Then when the machine's working, we'll put it in. I said, no, thank you. We don't want to have our numbers on a piece of paper sitting around, credit card number. We'll go, we'll find an ATM. So now we're out walking after dinner to find an ATM. We're walking a, a block or two down. Uh, well, or I should say one of us is because the other one has to stay in the restaurant to make sure nobody we, that nobody leaves without paying. And one of us can't check the car. Now the, the car now is over an hour. We were over, we're over the parking meter limit, you see because of this ATM business, but somehow we got it, we found an ATM, the ATM was like a little tiny individual little portable ATM stuck in the middle of a wall in the street, in the middle of nowhere, God knows how, how many thugs go down there and play with the skimmers, but so now we got the chance of an ATM skimmer, and we got the chance of a big cash machine in the middle of the street skimmer, but whatever, we paid everything, we went, by the time we got to our car, we were 15 minutes late, uh, thank goodness the, we didn't have to worry about getting a ticket. If we would have got a ticket, whoa, that would have been a real cherry on the cake, you know, to this uh, video. But you know what gets me, folks, is, you know, I just want to go to where there's parking meters. You, you bring some quarters with you, put one quarter in for an hour, two quarters in for you if you want two hours. That's how it always was and still is in most places, but they're changing it. You know, you don't have to go through all this rigmarole in order just to get a parking space, you know. But I know a lot of people, what they're going to say. The reason they don't have parking meters too much anymore is because people are taking the tops off the meters and ripping ripping the tops off and taking them and stealing the quarters. Well, you know what? I'm sorry you're getting ripped off, but you know what? I'd rather you get ripped off than we customers getting ripped off having to use our credit cards. You know, and here's the great kicker of it all. We didn't realize it until after I played the video back. But do you know that big box machine? It actually says on the bottom it accepts dollar bills and it actually accepts quarters. We could have put the damn quarters in. You know, although these days it said four quarters for an hour. <laughs> Not one quarter. So if you take 35, 40 quarters, you can have dinner, you know. But but you still could have put quarters in there or even money in there. We didn't know that. We did. It's in a little tiny fine print practically on the bottom of this big machine, you know. We thought you had to use a card. Well, that's it for this rant. This is Joe Mayo saying, don't sweat the small stuff.